Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Stephen Sunday from Greater Design Consult, a leading name in construction project management. Today, I'll be teaching you how to create a bill of quantity using realroof.com. Now, what is bill of quantity? Bill of quantity is a documentation established to define the quality and the quantity of works required to be carried out by the main contractor to complete a project. It is prepared by a quantity surveyor or cost consultant. What is the purpose of bill of quantity? The various purpose of bill of quantity are listed below, which are useful for cost planning, Tendering, it provides basic ideas to investors about the cost of the project. It provides a basis for the evaluation. So, briefly, Bill of Quantity provides a detailed breakdown of all the materials, labor and equipment required for the project, along with their corresponding pricing. This information is used to estimate the overall cost of the project. When we talk about tendering, the bill of quantity is often used as a basis for inviting tenders for contractors. The document provides a detailed and accurate description of the project requirements, allowing contractors to submit competitive bids. Bill of quantity serves as a reference document for project managers as well as uh, contractors during the construction process all right so what is rose.com rose.com is a cloud-based platform which means that your data is stored on rose.com server and not on your own computer this makes it easy to access your data from anywhere as long as you have an internet connection. And what are the features of Rose? Rose offers a variety of features, including the ability to create and manage Rose, add and edit data, view and export data, and collaborate with others. Rose.com is a secure platform. Your data is encrypted and stored in the cloud. Rose.com also offers a variety of security features such as two-factor authentication and password protection. Why will I use row for bill of quantity? Rows are a simple and an easy way to organize data. A bill of quantity is a list of all the materials and labor that will be needed for a construction project. It can be a very complex document and it can be difficult to keep track of all the Different items are their quantities. Rows provide a simple and an easy way to organize this data. Rows are flexible and can be easily modified as the project progresses. It is likely that the bill of quantity will need to be modified. Rows are very flexible and can be easily modified to reflect changes to the project. And the last features we're going to talk about Sorry, and the last reasons we're going to talk about on why should we use row for bill of quantity is that rows are easy to share with others. The bill of quantity is an important document that will need to be shared with many people, including the contractor, the subcontractor, and the owner, which is the client. Rows are very easy to share with others. You can simply share the link to the row with the people who needs to see it. So now let's go down to our row. Okay. So I already started creating the format, but let's go from the scratch and see how we can use row. All right. So when you log into your row.com, this is the first interface that you see. You can decide to create a spreadsheet. You can decide to import a file. You can decide to browse template. So, you could decide to import a file, either a CSV file or Microsoft Excel file. You can decide to invite your team members because it supports collaboration. So, 
But for this exercise, we're going to create a spreadsheet. So we click on create a spreadsheet and we'll wait for our doc for our table to load. Once our table loads, we start inputting everything that we need. Okay, so right now for the headings of a standard bill of quantity, we have the item. We have the description. We have the quantity. We have the units. We have the rates. So we could just right click to add a column to the right. put our amount and then let's just format this to make it look presentable a bit so we could just bold and then we and also we could just you know give it a little bit touch all right so assuming that now we are going to we can just decide to add more rows we can just highlight this and we insert rows below all right okay so i zoom in right now just oh. okay so now let's start let's say we've calculated for the the site preparation and we are clearing our site and we've already taken the area of the site so element number one, and then we put our substructure. All right, and then we could decide to put substructure provisional. some brackets okay so now we go to let's just go directly to our site preparation instead of writing all of this so we could just go to site preparation element a site preparation all right so Okay, so let's just input. Assuming we take we, we took we took the quantity and the quantity the area of the site that we're going to clear is about two thousand meters square. We can just put in our units. All right, and then assuming the rate is fifty dollars, we can just put in the fifty, and then we insert currency okay so let's also assume that we we did our topsoil element item b and then we have our topsoil excavation all right so and then for topsoil excavation Let's measure it in meters square, and we can measure it in meters square. And let's say we get about two thousand seven hundred meters square. All right, meters square. So let's say we price it. The rate is at seventy dollars. Currency. Same formulas. You could just equals to thousand and then your all right so automatically you can just drag and drop 
Yeah, so you could still decide to sum. Let's see when you carry to summary. Assuming carry to summary, you can just let's say sum this equals to sum. All right, so you can just same formulas that you use will work. So let's say we are done with it, right? And then we decide to, you can use this feature called the AI analyst. It will automatically summarize your data sets for you. So it has told you that the total quantity is 4,700. The average rate is $60. The maximum amount is 289,000. The median quantity is 2,350. So you could wait for the deep dive. Okay. Sorry, I'm having a bad network. Okay, so wait for the deep dive. So you could decide to insert any of this. Let's say what it does is summarize your data. So you could just use this. Let's say you insert a table. Okay, so it has summarized it, just the description and the amount. Okay, all right. So let's say you can decide to, oh, all right, in, you can decide to download this file as, this whole file as an Excel sheet. When you go down to your dashboard, and then you click here, sorry, you click here and you can download as an Excel sheet, okay? All right, so on our next video, we're going to talk more about how to use rows to handle more complex projects. Thank you.